Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to do another Memory Plan With Me week in my Erin Condren, my Horizontal Planner. This is going to be a hard week for me to do, but it's something I am going to enjoy doing and looking back when I'm done. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you join me again. I know these are my my memory plan with me videos are definitely not my most popular videos, but these are the ones that are just closest to my heart. These are the ones that mean the world to me. This is this is probably who I who I am more than trying on clothes and things like that. These are the ones that touch my heart and these are the ones that I want to look back at in a few years and just look at the memories and just enjoy looking back so um i know it's probably painful for you to watch so i appreciate it when you do i hope that you stick around and join me i hope that you watch a few minutes and leave me a comment click on like it really would mean the world to me if you are new to my channel i hope that you click on that red subscribe button i would love to have you come back and join me for future videos and again to my subscribers thank you thank you so much i can't do these without you so anyway i am loving doing these memory plans planning ones and as I said in the uh, beginning this is going to be a hard week for me um, but it's the week of July 13th it's three years ago that week that I lost my husband um, but it's like I said memories are bittersweet I mean I can look back and I can just remember everything so clearly and then even from then just kind of going back and just different parts of our lives and everything just kind of came together at once to let me know what I wanted to do to the, with this video so our first date back in 1970 well not our first first date our first date was going to a pizza place but i think our second date we went to see da 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 da, da jaws so jaws just came out in the uh, 4k the ultra high d i really don't know if there's much of a difference i just know i love it so anyway this happened to come out then i know jaws week is coming up or not Jaws Week, but Shark Week. So I got this uh, to use. And when I saw this kit, um, I knew that this was coming out. I knew this is the week that I wanted to do for um, a special week in my life. So this is from Jaws Week. This is from Sassy Apple Studio. She's an Etsy shop. And again, it's going to be a Jaws themed week. Um, but I got pictures that I'm going to be using. Not, so I'm not sure exactly how many of these boxes I'm going to be using. We'll see what fits in that week. And I'm excited to share that with you. But I like to show happy things, too. So anyway, Scentsy. So anyway, I know I've mentioned one or two times about these Scentsy flowers and um, how they come in this oil that comes in here. And um, this, the petals are made of like a solo wood. They're very flexible. Well, actually, they're kind of crispy when you first get them. And as uh, you put the wick in here, and of course, you can see this is dry as a bone. It's been dry for months, but I love the flower, so I kept it. Um, but anyway, the oil goes up through the wick and just absorbs into this flower and that's what fills your your room with fragrance so something like this i like it um on my nightstand by my bed because i can smell it right there but is it enough to do the whole room no not really you put this in a small bathroom it would be perfect if you're sitting by your desk and you have this right by your desk you are going to smell this and you're going to love it but anyway i know that you can take a like a felt tip marker is that what you call them and um i used a sharpie but you just kind of outline just go over the tips with a pen, wait a day or two, and you get something that looks like this. So anyway, I didn't have one in olive, but I had this blue one. So I'm hoping that this comes out. I mean, in person, this is a dark, dark navy, but of course my light is blowing it out. But in person, it looks like a navy velvet flower, and it is just so, so pretty. Of course, because this is uh, like that solo wood that absorbs everything, and so when you touch them, you know this color is going to rub off so if you touch it you're going to you're going to get it on your hands but anyway it is so pretty and of course you can do this if you wanted to match um um your room so if i had like this kind of army green or olive green i think that would look nice um when i'm going to do at work i'm going to look for gold because we have like a kind of mustard color wall in our ladies room but this would go on my desk because i have that one wall that's uh kind of like a navy blue so Anyway, you can kind of customize that, whether you do your favorite color or do it to match a print that's in your room. So loving that. But of course, I want to do another 
public service message. So anyway, today, this is going to be a quick little shot because I think I'm copied out for now. So I am going to use, make a twisted shot. So I've got this tequila rose, this strawberry cream because, yeah, this is good. And my whipped cream vodka. So I put it in my twisted shot glass. Yeah, we want to have the front show in there. And I just put a little bit of uh, coffee creamer in with the uh, vodka side. Just to kind of make it kind of creamy. Of course, I did it a few minutes ago, so it's starting to separate. So I should really drink this fast. And the tequila rose on the other side. So just so, so good. So anyway, I'm going to have a sip of this. I'm going to turn the camera down. going to do a quick video for putting uh, my week together. And then we'll be back later on to chat about the week. I'll be back. Cheers, everyone. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. All right, so we are back. This is how the uh, week turned out in the spread. And again, I used that kit from the Sassy Apple called Shark Week. I pulled in some memories um, of our beach days, going to the beach and uh, Jaws, because Jaws was the first movie that we ever saw together. Again, this was, um, you know, it was a... Uh, bittersweet week for me there's a lot of sad memories um, with this week it was three years ago this week that I, I lost my husband Rick um, but it's also the week that our daughters came out and we were all together again um, that was it was sad but it was amazing as well and having all the grandchildren here and of course after he passed we just kind of sat around and you, you know he didn't want any services or anything like that but what we did was we we went through photo albums and we all just kind of all shared memories and things that we loved to do together things that we did as a family and it was just that part of it was awesome and going to eat while they the kids were all here we went to eat at some of his favorite restaurants and so that we just we just kind of made made it a happy time for the kids too so that they didn't so that they could see it was it was also a celebration it was a loss but it was a celebration and that's how I would like to remember I would like to remember the happy times when I look back at that week but but still you're going to have those bittersweet memories but trying to focus on the good things and the happy memories is something that helps get me through so anyway this is how the week turned out and I'm loving all the blue in this kit and just uh you know the the shark pictures because it does just remind me of going to the beach and uh, the first movie that we saw together so just a, a lot of fun memories in this week so let's get to um, Monday and see how this week turns out for us so anyway on Monday I um, at work I had it to put in a full truckload of castor oil so that's always fun getting to spend a hundred thousand dollars of somebody else's money um, when I came home from work I filmed um, I got face masks from just Nina, so I got to film that and I edited it. I didn't get to upload it yet. Um, I had also got um, some Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski Jewelry. I had a gift from uh, Belinda Conti, the uh, rep that I had. And also our uh, daughter Raina and her family got me a present for my birthday, so that had come in, so I got that um, videoed. I also, because I did have all those face masks that I got from Just Nina, I actually did a face mask while I watched uh, Just Nina's face mask on Monday series, so that was fun. I also filmed uh, my empties video, didn't upload it or edit it yet, but I did get that filmed. And then I also worked on YouTube for about two hours, so that was a busy day. On to Tuesday. So Tuesday actually was uh, the day um, that we lost him. Uh, so to celebrate his day, um, I ordered a meatball and bacon pizza because that was the first uh, date that we went on. We had a, a meatball and bacon pizza at uh, his favorite pizza place that he had in Norton, Massachusetts, where he came from called Mike's Pizza. Um, I also had some honey wine, even though when I met him, we went out on our first date. I was only 17, so I did not have any liquor, but um, I most certainly can, ha can have now. And we did uh, find this winery together going out for rides when we first uh, moved out here. And we found this uh, in Chisago, Minnesota, a wine place called Wine Haven that it was a family-run business. They just had a pole barn at the time. 
and uh, they made the best wine and we fell in love with the honey wine so I had some honey wine with that um, it was the three years so I celebrated that um, when I came, went out on the deck after to just kind of sit out and enjoy the day when I went out on the deck there was a cardinal sitting on the railing and I sat down and um, and the cardinal sat down beside me for a while so that was that was really awesome um, when I came back in the house, I actually uploaded my Nina, uh, my Just Nina Thank You video for sending me all those face masks. It was really, really cool getting all those face masks from her. She's got an awesome channel, so I hope that you check her out. I'll also link her below. I also uploaded the uh, Touchstone Crystal Jewelry um, that I got that video, but I, I set that up so that it would um, upload to YouTube on Thursday so that I didn't have too much going on the same day. On to Wednesday. So Wednesday, I um, well, I, I also went on um, Tuesday, I also watched the uh, DVD uh, or the 4K Ultra Blu-ray. I, I don't know what they call it, but anyway, I watched Jaws on that. And then I had just printed out the cover, so I put that there. On, of course, Wednesday's always trash day. And, um, and it was, and I put down UG because I've been gotten so used to, like, sometimes being the only one at work, and everyone had to come back to work on Wednesdays, so that was kind of sad now, and, you know, having to wear masks and get used to the social distancing and things like that, and just having more people in there, so it's just, it was just kind of weird just having everyone back in the office again. I suppose it's a good thing, but it was um, still kind of weird. I, I just kind of, I got used to working by myself and getting what I wanted done, so that was nice. I also edited my empties video and got that uploaded. I worked three hours on YouTube and I also shipped out the um, Aloha kit um, to get from uh, Simply Gilded to get that out to Arana Lynn in uh, Hawaii. So I was glad to get that out from to her. And uh, Trash Night, so of course I got my trash girl right there. And on to Thursday, not too much going on at Thursday. Um, you know, I had been going back and forth with the uh, different hair colors, and the last one I, I got, even though the color seemed okay, um, like two days later, um, you could just see the gray coming back out. So um, I actually thought I would give Madison Reed a chance, so I'd been back and forth on a website looking at different colors, and I finally got an order placed on Thursday. I also I came home, I had a quick little barbecue out on the deck, and I worked for YouTube. I worked on YouTube for about six hours, and I got this picture um, of the Jeep. That's actually my husband and our friend Kenny, and um, it's behind the dunes at Sandy Neck Beach, and um, the beach that we used to go camping to um, in Barnstable um, on Cape Cod, and we used to camp right out on the beach and uh, take the Jeep out on there, and uh, I don't know, we got to be friends with different rangers. And so we they would give us a pass so that we could go riding behind the dunes. And just kind of, it was just so quiet back there because you didn't have tra traffic. You might have some people um, walking. There are a few remote um, cottages back there. Of course, they don't have, they don't have electricity or uh, running water or anything like that. But um, it was just awesome just to go riding back there. So let's see if I can get that up so you can just kind of see a little bit behind the dunes and the jeep not too clear but anyway let's go on to a friday so of course friday is always a good day so because course it's friday so um i've got my friday girl from planner kate right here with everyone back at work we did have some cocktails before everyone went home i worked on youtube for about four hours when i came home I also knew that Mr. Griffin was going to be coming on Saturday, so I worked until about 10 o'clock because I knew I wouldn't want to go in on the weekend, and I had also ordered in dinner for myself, so I ordered a spinach salad uh, with some grilled chicken from Broadway Pizza, and it is so, so good, and they have a hot bacon dressing. So, so good. Of course, I put that on the side and I just use as sparingly as I can, but that is really nice. The picture that I have right here is actually the second camp truck camper that we had, but you can see when, when you would uh, drive down the beach, pick out your spot, and we'd dig a hole on like one side, sometimes more, just so to get the tires in so that you could kind of be level. 
but that was just such a nice spot right there and on to saturday so saturday yay mr griffin came over that's always so exciting i did a dark load of laundry i worked on youtube for about 12 hours and i still managed to get some steps in i got some happy mail in from um the prairie planner i believe it was an etsy shop so i got some more sticker supplies um, I weed whacked for about 45 minutes because that's about as long as my battery lasts and I ordered um, some more um, items from the Sugary Gal Shop on Etsy. And the picture I have again, it's of the beach uh, with the, the Jeep. And there's Rick standing in front of the sheets. And of course that's when uh, he used to also make some homebrew. Um, I was never into the beer but um, everybody loved his homebrew. So. He was standing around with that. The Jeep didn't stay that color too long or have those wheels on it too much longer than that. We got it for like the season and then he had it painted black and put in uh, different lift kits and tires. He just really went to town, had a great time with that Jeep. He just loved it. And we did too. We used to go four wheeling off season. And of course, um, it was our chase vehicle down the beach, as we used to call it. So that way, when we came down, because once you get down, you get yourself settled and you got everything out of your camper. If you have to go off the beach for something, you really don't want to have to put everything back up. And so we called it a chase vehicle. So if we wanted to go off and have dinner somewhere or go out shopping or sightseeing, then we could just kind of load up in the Jeep and go out riding. Oh, we took the Jeep to... Uh, uh, New Hampshire um, we used to go um, out in the woods and stuff and stuff like that just uh, four wheeling with it so it was just it was just a really fun vehicle and I think when we first got it and of course it was um, you know I called it a clutch it car and it was like the old style that you really had to push that clutch in before you shifted but it was really fun to drive and so I think the first time that he took me riding in it that I could drive it by myself was uh, in the winter and so I would just kind of go off around. I, I would see like a four or five foot snow drift or something and I would just go right up on over it. So that was, it was just a really fun Jeep. We loved, uh, loved the Jeep. On to Sunday. So again, of course I've got Griffin still, so I'm so excited. I had him for the whole week and of course I got that little sticker there showing Griffin. And um, so I got, got my sheets and my towels done. I did a plan with me video. So I edited, uploaded, and um, and it was for a two week one. I also worked on YouTube for about eight hours. And I also trimmed the front hedges while Griffin was out in front with me. Cause he was in the hedges while I was trimming because he loves to go in the hedges thinking that there's rabbits in there. Sometimes there are. So he was in the, the hedges and I was just trimming away. So that was a fun time. And of course I got another picture of the Jeep just down at the beach. And it's low tide. So it's just, it was just, Sandy Neck Beach was just such a fun place. Taking the kids every week and just camping out there was awesome. So anyway, these are my stats for the week. So for steps, I did 92,926 steps. I had pedaled for 24.82 hours and 37.15 miles. My Fitbit steps were 52,064. And as you can see, my weight is creeping up. I did not do any exercise that week. So, you know, I think I, you kind of lose that accountability and you think, oh, I can do it, I can do it, I'll just do it later. But as you can see, I can't. So it's 115.6 when I started. It was 115.2 uh, at the end of the week. This picture that I chose here, I don't know if it's going to come out or not. It's not goodbye. It's until I see you again. So I'm glad that one at least focused, even though some of the others didn't. But anyway, so that is my week, my plan with me week. And I want to thank everyone for joining me. Um, like I said, these videos, they, they mean a lot to me. I just, um, I just love my memories. I don't want to ever, you know, and when once you've seen somebody lose their memories in front of you and not know who you are one day or the next, you don't realize how important memories are until you see someone that doesn't have any. So I want to thank you all for joining me. It means the world to me to have you here and watching these and any help that you can give me would be uh, greatly appreciated because I have really got to get back on track with my exercise. And of course I want to catch up on YouTube. So it's kind of like trying to do these priorities. So and still working along days, but um, 
anyway, thank you all for your support. Um, I don't know how to say thank you enough and how much you mean to me. It's, it's just, it's just a wonderful feeling to have your support and to see my subscribers grow. It's just, it's just amazing. So thank you everyone. And I don't want to keep saying thank you, but I, I just can't stress enough how thankful I am for everything that I have and for getting to know as many people as I have through this YouTube channel. That's is really the best part is getting to know you all. So I want to Hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic week. You're always going to have good memories, um, and there's always going to be some bittersweet ones in there too. But um, together we get through it. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.